No one nation can go it alone in today's environment. 82 representatives from 25 nations in the African Union were in Newport, Rhode Island, August 25 through 27, for the U.S. Naval War College's 12th Regional Alumni Symposium. The opportunity and importance of this gathering to impact international safety and security challenges in African waters was not lost on those in attendance. <laughs> Clearly there's a win here when we've got a, a relationship between a, a partner that had come here to study in the United States based on a greater understanding and a real sense of trust. Uh, but one of the things I've come to understand more deeply here is that it's not just the bilateral relationships that we're helping develop here, but it's the relationships in and amongst the class going through here. This is our 12th regional symposia, but this is actually the first time that we've actually brought alumni back here to our campus, which has been a really great opportunity. We've been able to have more of our faculty engaged, which not only is of the benefit to alumni, but it also really facilitates our faculty's ability to update our curriculum. It's a network of relationships that are built here that could not be built elsewhere across the globe and yet uh, these future military and government leaders are going to be decision makers in their countries and in many cases they're going to be able to effectively address issues long before they become a security issue for the United States. Well as you know most of the world trade is done by the sea. And uh, being an island nation like uh, my country, we depend a lot on uh, trade coming into my country. And uh, even uh, the economy is based on maritime tourism and fishing. So if the sea is not safe, then the whole country cannot uh, go on with its, with its uh, economic uh, development. My hope is that um, the African continent will be able to emulate such uh, forums, because actually um, these are open Chatham House rule um, discussions, uh, discussions where you can speak frankly uh, without the constraints of the uh, political um, fields, if you will, um, that are imposed on us as uh, military leaders. Yeah, it's an international issue because uh, all the countries that uh, are seafarers, they depend on uh, the sea for their livelihood and for their future also. These world leaders are out in the fleets. They are at literally the tip of the spear with their navies, with their services, with, for their countries. And the fact that they're coming together here to have off the record conversations and real dialogue, real debate, and real ed educational exchange for me makes me sleep way better at night knowing that we have such uh, dedicated, uh, thoughtful and contemplative leaders willing to, to engage in this lifelong pursuit of learning. Reporting from the U.S. Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island, I'm Dan Marciniak.